Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to show you a video of my process on how to make the Skeleton Upway sculptures. And this is the one I'm working on right now. And I just wanted to show you like what I use as reference, how I get started um how we even go about it so it might be kind of a boring video <laughs> but some people might find it interesting um i i used this this was a book uh that's completely fallen apart and if anyone knows the name of this book i would really appreciate if you could tell me what the name is because i've been looking for this book for years now a new one because as you can see it's a little, it's a little rough. It's seen better days, that's for sure. But it's my holy grail of information. And um, uh, there's also a female version, which I would love as well. So if anybody knows the name of this book or has seen this book or anything, please tell me what it is so I can order it. I just, I lost the cover of it, so I don't know what the name of it is anymore. Um... But um, I wanted to show you, like, I don't really use a reference board of, like, say, a person, a nude person in the same position in six different angles. I just kind of build it up and hopefully it works out. I kind of make up some of it, um, which probably isn't good, but I don't know what else to do, really. I, I guess I could go find a... Uh, a studio or something where they have live nudes or I don't know there's the baby it kind of rotted so I'm just gonna let it dry and just leave it as that I think but I use her a lot like that's why I'll never sell her because she is a study piece for me for the anatomy um, and same with this I use actually because it helps me figure out the basic shapes of everything and how they relate to each other when she moves so that's what I use as well and uh, I use stuff like this for this model of a foot really helpful and the spine is really helpful as well I've helped a lot um, in doing her spine but she is going to be the same size as this, this lady here. And um, so why I'm using her as a reference is so it's gonna help me realize how big to make like the thigh muscle, for instance, because there's also gonna be fat and a layer of skin. So I have to be careful as to how big I make any of the, the actual muscle. And I found these this isn't my website anymore but um i thought you guys might like to see her uh, in her slip i took it off because i was like i did all that work and i put a slip on her you know i just thought man nobody's gonna see anything so i took it off and then i'm also going to use this because it's just showing me how thick to sort of put everything it's sort of thinner at the top of the skull and sort of more fleshy at the bottom and it's also going to help me remember to uh, look up facial reconstruction because it gives you measurements and this as well i'm going to use um it's a video on dissection and it just helps me figure out how thick to make the muscles where the fat goes it's really helpful and uh i also use this book body world's book so yeah and then I also have a basic picture of the face I want her to look like the mouth already isn't right like it's not the same but um, I'll just she doesn't have to be identical it's just sort of a guide and uh, yeah that's basically it I just wanted to show you you know my process and just kind of how I get started um, 
but yeah, I don't, uh, I just use sort of a Davity books. I don't have, like I said, a picture of a nude person in the same pose in every picture, but at different angles, which I wished I did, but I, I just, I don't have that available to me. So I kind of have to like go with this kind of stuff and make it up and find, you know, what the best information I can find, but that's basically how I do it. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. If anyways, if anyone can find this book for me, <laughs> um, I'd really appreciate it. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye.